G'day, I'm Dave TTC and this is Dave's Cave. This week we're going to have a look at our laser CNC's. We're running light burn. If you looked at the last episode, it was my first introduction to the lasers. I've been using them now for well over a year, I think. Yes, definitely over a year. Um, I hadn't put anything on, but it's about time I did. One of the questions that comes up regularly is about the home position. And so today's episode, we're going to look at, yes, so long as you've got limit switches in all directions, you can set up your home in any one of the four corners you want. And you can set up your point of origin in any one of the four corners. And you've just got to calibrate everything accordingly. So let's pop over to the laser. So over here at the laser, this is typical factory homing position on most lasers. I don't like it because one, all right, let's get something. I want to laser something onto this. Really, it's not easy. It's in the way. I don't like it. So ideally, I want my laser to home at the back. I don't even want it home on this side. If you saw my last episode, you see that my preferred position is over here. Why? Very simply put, if I've got a roller or a chuck mechanism set up with this honeycomb taken out, it'll be down here somewhere. And if you're turning small stuff, then the mechanism of that roller or chuck sticks up significantly higher than what your laser level needs to be set at to engrave whatever work you're doing. What that means is if something goes wrong or if you need to home again, then your laser head is going to smash into that roller accessory or chuck accessory. So therefore, it's better if this homes at the back and over that side because your laser, uh, your chuck is normally set up over this side. Now something else you will have noticed in the last episode, if you haven't watched that one, go back and have a look is the post underneath this corner, I actually take that out. So that, when not all the time obviously, but when I'm doing roller work, I take that out so that I can home back there and not have any problem. Now let's jump over to the computer. We'll go to a split screen. Or we'll share a portion of the screen. And look at what we need to do in order to be able to have custom settings. So number one, turn off auto home. So come up to your spanner, your device settings, and okay, auto home was on, that was off, so we make sure that's off. And then select your origin. Where do you want your origin to be? I'll just zoom out here so that you can see what I've got. This is my real laser bed. These are fake ones that I've just drawn in uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. So here you've got zero, zero. So back at school, if you did graphs and things, you had your X, your X and your Y, and your zero, zero was here. And I just like it being there. I like that to be my zero, zero, and everything works in that direction up. Now, I like everything to be there and to work in that direction, but, you know, you might like it there, there, or there. And you can put it wherever you want. That's your choice. Um, we'll just see why it is that I like it to be in the one spot. I've got three different lasers, two lasermatics and a Zibachu, whatever it is. On the Zibachu, the origin was up in the top right, where I like it to home. And so let's have a look what happens when we put our origin up in the top right. Everything's flipped around. And what it means is if I design something using one laser and then decide I want to use it on the other one, I've got to invert it all. And then depending how it's saved and things like that, 
when I go to invert it, sometimes part of it inverts and some of it doesn't and some of it goes the wrong way and things just don't line up. And so it's the same, we've put it over there, it inverts that way and over there it inverts that way. And so to me, I like it all there. But now, what about setting up the rest of our laser? Number four, check stepper directions and adjust as need be. So if you shift your laser, your origin, from down here at the one to the diagonal corner, what's going to happen is when you tell your laser to do something, it's going to think it's down here. And so to go to, say, this reverse over here, from this position, it's going to crash. It's going to go off to the top because it thinks it's somewhere else. Um, also, if you're down here, or if it thinks it's here, but you're over here, your X and Y could be working in the wrong direction. So how do we change that? Dollar three. All right. I'm going to move this, because this is already calibrated, I know that I can move this to 200, 200, and we'll go, and we won't have a problem. So that's roughly center. We're going over to center, and then from center, we're going to check our directions. We go down, it goes down, we go up, it goes up, we go left, it goes left, we go right. No problem. But what if there is a problem? We'll just punch in dollar dollar. Okay, did that before, now I know. Mm -hmm, interesting. Dollar dollar. There we go. That brings up all our settings and our three at the moment equals one. So let's go three equals zero. Enter. Okay. Right goes left and left goes right. The up and down is okay. All right, let's type in a different command. We'll go with three equals two. Okay, so we'll try and go right. It's still going left. We'll try and go left. It goes right. We'll try and go up. It goes down. We'll go down. It goes up. All right, so... Let's try dollar three equals three. Enter. Okay, we'll go right, it goes right. Okay, we've got left and it's left. So we got that right. Now let's try up. No, no good. And so just by trial and error, you can work out what it needs to be. Now we need to choose number five, our home position. What is the home position that we want? Well, I want this top corner. That's our dollar twenty-three. But let's just have a look at the various things and see what we get. Dollar twenty-three equals two, and we will home. Ah, okay. Might help if I press enter. Now let's hit enter, and we will home again. And now it's going the other way. We'll do dollar twenty-three equals one, and we will home. Ah, we've got a crash situation because this is the one little glitch. 
if you change your home I'm not sure what the code is to fix this up yet and if you do know please drop it down in the comments but regardless of where you set your home it wants to take off the way it would from factory setting so there's a workaround we've got a nudge one left one up away from the home position now we'll press um, ah, okay. Here's the other thing. I never pressed enter. So let's try that. We will nudge one, one, and press home. Okay, there we go. Color 23 equals zero. Because that's where I want to be. Well, Nudge it, and nudge it, and don't mind the scratching, that's the dog banner pain. Alright, now we have another problem here. I've already explained that you've got to nudge out of the corner to get it to work. Now we've got the roller position and bang, it takes off and it crashed. Just home that again. So now we've just got one more thing that we need to do according to whatever we choose as the home position we want. We'll come up to this one here. Oops. We just got to put in a little bit more code. Okay, so normally we're over here at zero zero, and just looking at the bottom again, even though we've set home there, we've got the red dot and the green dot both down here. So the laser thinks it's at zero zero. So we've got to program it so that it will, instead of taking off from here, it will actually come backwards first and then do, for example, that eclipse. Let's have a look at how we do that. Now, these numbers change according to the size of your laser. So if you've got an AJ that's something like 800, you've got the extended bed 800 by 1100, 800 by 1200, I can't remember how big it is now, um, then you would need to do that accordingly. So look at where it thinks it is. And where you've set it to be so if it thinks it's here and you've come over to here then you don't need to do anything to the Y you haven't gone up but you need to take the X measurement off if you've gone up to here you've stayed on the X zero so you don't have to do anything to the X zero but you need to take the Y off in my case I've gone to the extreme diagonal corner so I need to take off X406 and Y400. Let's do that here. Go G10. L2. T1. X. Minus. I don't know if it matters if it's capital or not, but we'll. X minus 4A. X Y minus 400 enter all right we're just going to home that again yes it is home and like I said if I try to go it crashes so we see that crash so the workaround is a nudge nudge now to draw this to laser that I should say The laser's here, but thinks it's there, so it's as though it thinks, relatively speaking, that that is roughly there. So its inclination is to go bang up that way. And that's why we had to do the minus 406 and the minus on the top one 400. Now it knows that it's got to go the other way, but if we have a look at the 
preview, on the preview, even though you've set everything up right, it's always going to show as though it's starting from down there and going up. But don't be fooled, that's fine. We know we're up there, we can see it on the other camera. We're going to do that burn and you'll see it does in fact go to the right spot. Um, now the other thing I've done is just popping up here into the device settings is I've made my return to finish position 10 mil off the corner so I don't need to home and nudge every single time. I've only got to nudge it when and if I home it. Uh, that's my workaround. I prefer it being up the back. I do want to find out what the situation is for being able to program it so that you don't have to nudge it. And I'm sure there is something that can be done. But in the meantime, this is how I do it. And if you want to change your configuration, then you can do that too. Now I'll just show you one other thing while we're here. For this, we'll have to go new. Yes, I'll save the changes. If you type something wrong and you can't for the life of you work out how to fix everything up when you're doing your dollar values and if it mucks up come up to your file and go to load pref backup and you've got all your preferences going back for however long I've got them going back to the 12th of December here um, so just go back to anywhere before you had a problem. You can just click on it and hit load. I don't want to do that because I'm happy with where I'm at. But if you do have a problem, do that and you've reset it back to where it was. So thanks for joining us this time. Hopefully you'll come back soon. If you've got any questions, don't forget to just put them down in the comments below. See you at the next one. Bye for now.